The Jackson County Board of Equalization trying to figure out how it's going to work through the assessment appeal hearing process for 17,400 appeals. And that may not be the final count, by the way. 41 Actions reporter Emma James live at the county courthouse. Emma, what do leaders still need to nail down here? The Jackson County Director of Assessment says there are still a few details to be figured out for the hearing process. However, she says this is uncharted territory for both of those departments, so communication is key here. However, they are very hopeful they'll get it all done. We've never done this before, so it's going to be a, a new process for us. Director of Assessment Gail McCann Beatty says both departments need to come together. It is done in other areas in the state, and um, we just have to work through it. She says the county is moving through the informal reviews quicker than expected. Of the more 21,000 filed, about 11,000 are processed. I can't speak for the BOEs, but our informals, we will be finished probably before the end of October. She says everyone needs to get on the same page about the formal appeal hearings. Departments need to figure out how many days of the week to block off and how much time property owners will be given to have their case heard. The county is paying for the board to hire hearing officers who are either licensed attorneys at law, licensed realtors, or state certified real estate appraisers. The BOE hasn't said how many spots it's filled or how many people it plans on hiring. Blue Springs BOE representative Preston Smith has concerns about the people hired for the role. Uh, even if you do get someone to take that job, there's no guarantee they'll keep it. He worries the people hired won't go through proper background checks. One detail of a process he calls broken. And what they're trying to do is put band-aids on this as they go along. Today, Smith and a group of Westside people are asking the Justice Department to step in. They will be sending a negotiator to try to work with the Board of Equalization. He also plans on meeting with Kansas City's top realtor to develop inter-county equalization orders that reach all the criteria the State Tax Commission has asked for. These house values that we're going to recommend to the Board of Equalization will be, will be based on market values and they also will be uh, based on uh, fairness across the board. McCann Beatty says she thinks a lot of those formal appeals are actually from folks who haven't heard back yet from the county about their informal reviews. However, the county is planning on sending out about 6,000 notices this week, and those will let taxpayers know the results of their informal review, which McCann Beatty says could cancel out a lot of those formal appeals. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News.